In 2025, AI could write, summarize, and create content, but in 2026, it will think, plan, remember, and act on its own. Everything from smart glasses to factory robots and AI PCs is shifting from assistive tools to autonomous systems that do the work themselves. Here are eight research-backed reasons why the AI of 2026 will be different. Reason number one, agentic AI becomes real. 2026 is shaping up to be the year of agentic AI. Instead of typing, write an email, you'll give the AI a full objective. Find 20 leads, email them, track replies, and schedule meetings. AI already demonstrated this logic in early tool use demos from Google and OpenAI, where systems could gather data, generate reports, send messages, and update documents without user intervention. Startups offering AI workers for data entry and customer support are securing real contracts which shows enterprises are willing to trust automated workflows if the output is accurate. This is also where domain-specific models matter. Healthcare AI can analyze medical data and generate documentation. Legal AI can draft, review, and check compliance. Finance AI can detect fraud patterns or monitor risk. And these aren't theoretical products. Hospitals, law firms, and banks are testing them to reduce repair Competitive work. When AI can act directly on software and data, it becomes digital labor and not just a writing assistant. Reason 2. Privacy-centric and sovereign AI. Not every organization can send private information to a big cloud model. That's why 2026 is seeing a shift toward on-device AI and sovereign AI systems. Apple introduced private cloud compute so that sensitive processing happens on Apple-controlled servers with strict security. Google released Gemini Nano for Pixel devices, allowing features like smart replies, summarization, and transcription to run locally. Microsoft launched AI PCs with built-in neural chips, and enterprises are also deploying their own private models inside data centers to keep everything under corporate control. Running AI locally means faster response times and lower privacy risks, which is why industries like healthcare, government, and finance are already moving in this direction. If 2025 was about what AI could do, 2026 is about where AI AI is allowed to operate. Reason 3. AI moves into the physical world. AI is not staying inside screens. Companies are testing robots powered by language and vision models so they can learn through observation instead of being programmed step by step. Figure AI showed a humanoid robot trained using data from open AI models. Tesla demonstrated Optimus performing tasks like sorting objects and folding laundry based on visual understanding. Agility Robotics is running warehouse pilots in the United States with bipedal robots designed to work safely around humans. NVIDIA introduced its Groot model built to help robots learn skills by watching human demonstrations and then practicing in simulation before trying them in real environments. And hospitals in Japan and the U.S. use robots for supply delivery, reducing strain on staff. And just so you know, cities are testing AI-guided traffic systems that adjust signal timing based on congestion. So yeah, the big takeaway is that AI is leaving laptops and phones and moving into machines that interact with the physical world. Reason 4. Synthetic data fixes the data problem. AI learns from data, but real-world data can be private, limited, or biased. That is why synthetic data is becoming important. It's artificially generated, but statistically accurate, which means it can train models without exposing real people's information. Google and NVIDIA use synthetic data sets to train self-driving and robotics systems inside virtual cities that behave like the real world. Healthcare companies and researchers generate 
generate simulated medical records to test diagnostic models without using sensitive patient files. Cybersecurity models train by simulating large numbers of attacks that would be difficult to collect naturally. And banks are exploring synthetic financial data to improve fraud detection and risk analysis without risking privacy leaks. By 2026, synthetic data is expected to play a major role in AI development because it allows faster training and better safety. Reason 5. AI becomes explainable and trustworthy. A major barrier for AI in high-stakes settings is that many models operate like black boxes. You get an answer, but not the reasoning. That does not work in medicine, law, banking, or government. In 2026, more models are being designed with explainability features. That means showing which data influenced a decision and providing clear reasoning or alternatives. Regulators in Europe, the United States, and Asia are pushing for transparent AI systems with audit trails. The European Union's AI Act requires labeling of AI-generated media, risk assessments, and compliance for high-risk systems. Google Vio and OpenAI Sora already include watermarking to help identify AI-generated content. Banks are testing models that justify credit decisions for customers and regulators. Hospitals are testing diagnostic tools that show supporting evidence instead of just outputting a result. When AI explains itself, trust increases, which makes real deployment possible in areas where accuracy and accountability matter. Reason 6. New AI hardware changes the game. AI used to depend almost entirely on powerful cloud GPUs, but that is changing. Hardware companies are developing new ways to run models faster and more efficiently. Neuromorphic chips are designed to function more like biological brains, which can increase performance and reduce power consumption. Optical computing uses light instead of electricity for processing, which could accelerate complex calculations. Governments and research labs are investing in AI supercomputers that can simulate proteins, weather, and scientific scientific models with greater accuracy. Consumer devices are also getting upgrades. Laptops and phones with built-in neural processing units can run smaller AI models offline. This reduces cost and makes AI more accessible to everyday users and small businesses. The shift in hardware means AI is not limited by cloud access or expensive servers. Real-time reasoning and robotics become more practical as computing gets faster and cheaper. Reason 7. Generative AI goes beyond content. Generative AI is not stopping at videos, images, and music. It's moving into science, medicine, and interactive design. Researchers use AI models to generate new proteins and explore potential drug candidates, which can shorten research time. Video models like Sora and Vio show how text can turn into scenes that filmmakers and advertisers can work with. Game studios are testing generative tools that build environments, characters, and dialogue from simple descriptions. Schools are trying AI tutors that adjust lessons in real time based on how a student responds. And and wearable AI makes this even more practical. Smart glasses can translate, answer questions about objects in front of you, or summarize text on a screen. Laptops and tables with AI chips can create images, videos, and documents without uploading files to cloud services. So, generative AI is becoming a feature inside everyday tools, rather than something you only see in demos. Reason 8. Energy-efficient AI becomes a priority. Training and running large AI models uses a significant amount of electricity, and researchers expect demand to keep rising as models get bigger. The U.S. Department of Energy reports that data centers could draw a noticeable share of national power usage by the end of the decade if growth continues. Because of this, companies are investing in more efficient cooling systems and chips that perform the same work while using less energy. There is also interest in new 
two power sources. Rolls-Royce is developing small modular nuclear reactors designed to provide reliable energy for high demand computing. In 2026, conversations about AI will focus on progress and performance, but also on how to make it more sustainable. Cheaper, faster AI changes the economy. Running AI models used to require expensive cloud servers. Now the cost of inference is dropping as hardware improves and models become more efficient. Smaller models can run locally on phones and laptops, and cloud costs continue to decline as companies optimize their infrastructure. This matters because it makes AI accessible to small businesses, schools, content creators, and startups. Tasks like scheduling, data cleanup, product design, and customer service can be automated without huge budgets. Faster and cheaper AI means more people can use it, which pushes adoption into areas that were previously too costly or slow. What this means for the world. The shift from 2025 to 2026 is not about hype. It's about how AI is being used. Some jobs will change, and of course, new roles are already appearing. Companies are hiring people to oversee AI systems, review model outputs, and design workflows. Robots and AI agents are filling labor gaps in logistics, manufacturing, and customer support. Schools and hospitals are experimenting with personalized assistance. Smart homes, factories, and cities are starting to use AI for efficiency and automation. The pattern's clear. Humans set goals and AI handles the repetitive work. 2025 showed what AI could do, and 2026 is when AI starts doing the work itself. If you made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.